All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. So I just finished the Titano hack video because obviously, you know, you need to keep, uh, you know, I keep the content flowing because shit always happens, you know. So, because, yeah, the channel's been growing, but it only grows because I'm covering all these Tomb Forks, essentially, or new projects. So, yeah. Uh, I, I do have Rip A Finance. The problem is it's undergoing a correction, and it's still way overpaid, so I have not invested in that yet. Uh, in fact, the video after this one, Piggy Finance, the one that Dow King recommended, it's actually up a lot. I kind of don't want to do the video on it because I want to keep all the money and prices for myself, but it's under a, a slight profit-taking correction phase, too. So I'm like, all right, fine, whatever. You know, so. Uh, but that's going to be good uh, with Piggy. So anyway, this is Draco Finance. Uh, I kept thinking for some reason I had an E instead of an A, right? And this is, again, your... Your, your, your fun loving, uh, you know, tomb forks, because these are all over the place now. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's got the cute theme thing. And they said that Draco and S. Draco are renounced. So, hopefully, they don't, their boardroom's not screwed up. So, which is why Snow Tomb is doing all the. Wait, was it Snow Tomb? No. That, that's why Zilla Finance is doing all that shit they have to do. So, Snow Tomb is a different situation. They're going to remove the slot AVAX LP on uh, Frozen Tomb to try to help prop up the price of Snow Tomb, uh, which it should, right? But of course, that means slot, which is what I'm in, is, uh, you know, taking a best of beating. But I actually took all my profit out of that before and then just put in, like, literal, like, house money into. Pretty big house money, actually, into, that's how much I made, onto back into the slot AVAX LP. So, it will be fine. Snow is already going back up, so great. Yeah, right now, everything in crypto, it's kind of like correction. And then even Draco Finance right now is a correction, because this was up to like 20 bucks, way too high. Um, and then S Draco is, yeah. So, and also S Draco went from 2K down, down to 685, it looks like a little under that. Uh, so this Draco Finance, uh, so far it's been proven pretty, pretty good and legit. I got into the Genesis pool. Yeah, I, I, and then like, I don't know, I put in like 30 bucks or 60 bucks. And then now I've grown it. No, I brought, I put in $33 of USDC and I've grown that now to, well, I had grown it before the price went down. Uh, let me go, let me check my Chrome here. Uh, I have grown it to fifty-two dollars and thirty-one cents. So I have made back. So I'm almost a hundred percent up. This after this price correction, right? So I was actually up a lot more. So not bad for thirty bucks, right? I mean, these Genesis pools are pretty nice. Uh, but more importantly, I'm always on the lookout for cash flow projects that are run by legitimate developers and also fairly competent. And so far, I like what I see here. Oh, that's actually cool. I didn't notice this. They put the chart thing here. Because you know how I always bitch and complain that there's no chart over here in this section? Oh, this is such a nice touch. I wonder if the other websites I've been using that don't have this put the chart over here. Oh. See, you learn something new every day. And that includes me. Right? That's how I know everything. Because I'm always trying to learn new shit. And I also like that you can just add MetaMask, your token to here. I love these things. I love these nice little touches really do help the user experience a lot and it makes me like the project a lot more because you have to actually put a lot of thought into user interface right which means you have to be smart and creative and guess what i like to invest in smart creative people because that's how you'll make a lot of money that's how everyone makes a lot of money if you're dumb and uncreative you know like in master ryan too you could pick a race that was like that or create one like that you're going to have a very hard life, right? You're going to have a very hard game. So, yeah, look, S. Draco's already coming up. All right, so anyway, the Genesis pool is over. It's like 1.1 million locked. Um, this is on the Phantom Network. Now, it's paid one-to-one -to, -one to Phantom. So there is an issue where you can clearly see that uh, this thing is way over pegged. So by the time you watch this video, it should be in, like, 30 minutes, right, depending on how fast YouTube processes this video. I would be a little careful about buying Draco and instead farm S Draco instead. Now, the problem is when Draco does correct, right, because 
All right, this thing is 10x above peg. Uh, it's going to hit S Draco pretty hard too. So you may actually want to just simply wait. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have to wait because I got in in the Genesis pool from the Elite Discord because he because uh, someone one of the guys I invited actually found this project. So I was like, oh okay, yeah. Because I was waiting on other projects to do their correction. So I was like, yeah, because obviously I'm tired of buying at the top, right? So. And what's nice about Tomb Forks, and I think eventually when I go over, like, like I forgot who said it, but someone said to create, it might have been a YouTube subscriber or the Elite Discord, but someone said to create a video on, on, like, how I, like, what's the strategy for actually profiting off of these Tomb Forks? Like, what do I do? So I need to make a video on that. That's in the queue. So what's nice, again, about these Tomb Forks is you can kind of figure out if you're buying at the top or the bottom. Just look at the peg and then look at the look how much overpriced is it, it is. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I keep thinking Phantom is a dollar, like a stable coin, but it's really $2. So it's 5.21 whatever above peg, right? So this thing is 5.5, 5, 500 and 20% more expensive than it should be, right? So you know this thing's got a tank. Uh, but with that being said, the reason why the price is very high is because obviously the project just got started. The farms are, oh yeah, I did USDC for this project. So, and the farms are very new because what everybody actually wants are these, the boardroom tokens. In this case, it's called S Draco or this purple pink thing. <clears throat> so, whoops. Oh yeah, that is correct. Why is it blank? So everyone's just farming it because you can see the circulating supply is only 489. So there's not really a whole lot of these papegas here. So you get to deposit it into the boardroom, which they call the castle up here, right? And then you gotta approve it and then whatever. Now the, the first thing does not start until 21 hours and 20 minutes. So you know, obviously, just go to the site and you'll see. Of course, I'll have the link to everything here uh, in the YouTube description. Uh, S Dracos can only be withdrawn after six epochs. So assuming each epoch is six hours, that basically means 36 hours. Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I no longer do boardroom staking because of stuff like this. It's like I, I need my liquid there's there's I need liquidity. If I need cash in a hurry and stuck in the boardroom, I'm completely fucked, right? So I, what I do personally now, and I'm liking it a lot, is I go into the liquidity pool for the token, for the boardroom token. So, you know, you get slightly less, sometimes you get the same, or sometimes you get even more. So this is way better, right? S Draco Phantom LP, right? So I, I would just do this. Now, now, that doesn't mean the boardroom is bad. It's just not good enough for someone like me, because I need to be fast. I could have had a, ch like, there was a chance where I could have stacked even more piggy finance, pig shares, when I was still like 360, 400 bucks, right? Uh, but I couldn't because, oh yeah, I couldn't because I was stuck in the boar room for piggy finance. So it wasn't that bad because I still had my pig shares, but the reason why I wanted to pull out was because the liquidity pool for piggy finance pays six times more than what the boardroom pays and it pays it in pig shares so not only did i lose six percent daily right as opposed to like one percent daily or 1.5 um what you might call it i'm getting paid in pig i'm not uh, not getting paid, paid in pig shares so i lost technically a lot of money throughout loss of opportunity because of the fucking boardroom so now I'm not doing the boardroom anymore except three ohms boardroom because that thing is much higher. Um, and eventually when the boardroom for three ohm matches the liquidity pool for three ohm, I'm going to switch over. Right? I don't, I don't like boardrooms anymore. I, I actually despise them. I'm glad that they're there because, you know, otherwise these tomb forks don't work, right? It's part of, it's, it's a requirement of every tomb fork, just to have, like, everything else is a requirement. I just don't personally do it, all right? I need to be liquid, I need to be fast, and I need, and then if I actually think that everything's overpriced, I want to be able to dump before everyone else does, because that's what I did with Zilla Finance and Snow Tomb. I dumped before everyone else, right? Broke everything up. I was correct, I called it. Pulled a lot of profit from all that, and now I'm buying back at the bottom. 
All right, and now I'm big chilling and just making even more money. So, you know, you know, I like being the smart money, all right? If you're dumb money, right, well, guess what? You're going to be my exit liquidity, and then you're going to be uh, in the Snow Tomb Discord chat or Dilla Finance chat getting banned and fudding because you're fucking retarded, all right? But you're watching me and my videos, so now you're not retarded, all right? See, aren't you glad you found me? Well, actually, you also watch Dow King. That'll work, too. You know, but I spread out more and find a lot more projects than he does. You know, he focuses more on just a couple of really good, high quality projects. So, and obviously that works for him because obviously he's like way bigger than me. And I've been doing this for years, right? Doing all sorts of different topics. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's still pretty new. Of course, I don't talk about bonds, right? I know people do bonds. I don't do them. That's the other thing too, because people did bonds in like Zilla Finance. Now everyone's stuck. That's the other thing too about bonds. Your uh, bonds are actually kind of risky. Your liquidity is completely locked, apparently, because you can't really sell them, right? All right, and you have to wait for the base token to go back up. So in the meantime, you're not making any money. So why would you buy a bond, right? You know, so that, that's my personal stance. Uh, so with that being said, right now there's only two pools. Uh, I think they'll add more eventually because obviously, yeah, I think they're going to add Draco S Draco as a liquidity pool. I never do those. All right. I just, I just pick one or the other. So right now it's 15.2% for Draco FTM liquidity pool and then it'll pay out an S Draco, uh, boardroom tokens. Great. A lot of money. All right. Um, Right now, I personally choose this one, right? As I just said, I do the boardroom token FTM LP because what do I actually want? I want the token, right? I want the boardroom tokens, the rare shares, because those will be, I mean, there's only so much of them that, you, you know, you can grab, right? Uh, but the base tokens, right? Dracos, there could be, tech, there's going to be an infinite amount of them over time, right? Because that's how the two forks operate. Right, it just takes a little, but it, but it doesn't happen instantly. So, okay, so the total supply is seventy eight thousand nine hundred three. Initial supply is four eighty nine. So, how many how many boardroom tokens are there? Oh, great. So he didn't even organize this. How do you move tokens? Da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Yeah, he oh, okay. So he did include that info. It's just, it's just not nice and organized like I like it. S Draco has one million tokens. <clears throat> These are all pre-minted and under a time lock. See the contract page. I'll take your word for it. Well, One hundred seventy thousand of these will be rewarded to liquidity providers for one year, three sixty-five days. On Phantom, the rest of the protocol-specific share will be held in time lock and transferred to each new chain that Draco launches on. At the start, there will only be blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. So the reason why Draco Finance, why the Elite Discord guy told me about this is because, that's right, they intend to go to other blockchains, and the next blockchain is Avalanche. So you look in the upper right corner, I'm going to hide my camera, you'll see that it says the Avalanche icon, and it says soon. Right, soon TM. I, I cannot click it right by the wallet on the upper right corner of this screen. So, all right, that's plenty of time for you to see that. So, I don't know how it'll work. Obviously, I don't care how it works. I just want to know that it works. Right, that's the nice thing about not being a programmer anymore. Uh, and then the big part about this is it'll just be cross chain. And now, Harry Yi, right, the guy who runs Tomb Finance, and I guess is essentially trying to run. Two or three of them or whatever, right? Well, technically they don't. He doesn't run it, right? But you know, it's basically a partnership, right? I mean, yeah, whatever. So yeah, see, this thing's already dipping a little. Uh, so you know, the value again is in cross-chain tune forks. That seems to be the next step for these things. So once somebody, so the first person pro or project that can do it it'll just skyrocket, right? Because cross-chain is actually, you know, now that I've been doing a lot of bridging between Phantom and Avalanche and Binance Coin and then soon to be a little bit of fucking Ethereum, because uh, Congruent's on there, 
Uh, and then soon to be polymatic because Sphere Finance, right, headed by Sim. All right, he's on the poly, polygon, polymatic. What's it? I, I guess it's both the same words, right? All right, the polymatic blockchain, whatever the hell it is, polygon. So I'll be bridging over to there and back, right? So the natural, so naturally, you're gonna want one of these projects to also be existing on other blockchains. So that will be actually a very interesting experience for all of us. So all the rage, you know, it's pretty cool. These guys intend fully to go cross chain. Rip A Finance wants to go cross chain. Harry is making his move. All right, and we'll talk about that more in the piggy finance thing. And yeah, you can just see the circulating supply just went up to uh, 490 from 489. So you can check this out. Uh, if you're gonna buy it now, right? Remember, this thing is pretty far above peg, so expect more price dumping, right? It's high now because there's just very little supply and very huge demand for S Draco, but eventually that's gonna level up kind of quick. So put in very little. I'm talking like 30, 60 bucks, right? Because that's what I did. I, I I literally put in almost nothing, right? Like throw away money. I make I make what I I make that in like a few hours from all my other projects from the cash flow, right? Because today I'm not actually taking any profit. Right? I'm just doing more compounding. Like crypto is down across the board, so this is the perfect time to do. Holy shit, is this way up? So yeah, it's the perfect time to compound because I know everything's going to go back up because what do I say? Markets over always overreact. And guess what? Yeah, they're now realizing, hey, this is all bullshit. Let's go buy back in. All right? Everything's coming. Now, finally, everything's coming back up. Right? Yeah. Avalanche is already back out at $81. Like a, like an hour ago when I started streaming my recording my first video for Titano Hack, this thing was at like $76. So this thing has just gained 5 bucks. Right, Avalanche. Look, you watch Dow King, you watch Greg Manorino, you watch me, all right? You will never have to worry about money again, all right? You know, and if people are like, well, how much money did you lose? You know, your advice sucks, then go fuck yourself because, you know, you're fucking retarded, right? And you're just a stupid asshole, all right? You know, I don't win on every trade. Greg does not win on every trade, and Dow King certainly does not win on every trade. Right? But that's not the point. The point is you have to have smart money management, put in relatively even bets on everything, and then like six, seven times out of ten, you'll be correct. All right? You're always going to have some losers. Now, you can even have like a 10 or 20% win rate, but those 10, 20% are like such huge wins that you don't even care about the other. So it depends on like your risk appetite and how you want to play things. In my case, what I go for is everything. I go for near 100% accuracy, which doesn't happen. It's actually more like 90, 95% accuracy. And I overweight money towards certain projects, right? But I made a, I made a fuck up with Metaverse Pro, and now I'm down pretty big technically, and Congress still crashing. Um, but again, that's the problem with DAOs. Like the team, they actually removed me from the policy team today, which makes sense because I haven't been doing anything. Uh, but I mean, we, I still haven't seen an update on the website. So like, what are they, you know, like they're, they're too busy talking about everything and I'm sure they're coding shit. It, it, it's just like, and people are just getting frustrated. All right. So, you know, Congrid, I know we'll get our money back from fucking Congrid, but don't, don't expect it to happen anytime soon. All right. First, they have to get their shit together, keep adding more functions to the Congrid website. And then they have to act. They better actually start paying out something from the from the bribery income from the convex shit so people have confidence. Um, but you know, whatever. It'll stabilize once the APR goes to zero, because it's already down to like 113, 112% APR. So congruent tokens will soon be pretty much unique. All right. So anyway, uh pretty promising project, Draco Finance. They haven't rug pulled yet. It's this site's I guess this thing's a couple a few days old now. And they would have rug pulled, they, I think they would have done it by now. But again, it's still going to be high risk because of the price differentials and the overpaid price of Draco. So again, putting very little. We're talking 30, 60 bucks, all right? Now, if you want to take the risk and try to go for the reward, which I think is crazy and quite frankly not necessary. Better off going Zilla Finance. That's much safer, funny enough. All right? Uh, 
and then you lose your shirt, I mean, I don't want you to come back and, like, go and blame me. It's like, I literally just told you the risks, what the likely actions will happen, and then just put 30, 60 bucks. That's considered cheap for me. For you, some of you, it might be, I don't know, five, ten bucks, or, I don't know, if you're a multimillionaire, I guess, like, a thousand dollars isn't anything to you, right? It's all about scale, right? I'm not even talking about a, fra a percent. I'm talking a very small fraction of a percent. Just put throwaway money in this because it's so early in the project that all you really need is just to get in a little bit, right? And then just compound your way to financial freedom, right? So you put in 30, 60 bucks. This thing can eventually make me like 10, like, you know, 30, 60 bucks a day. That's a lot of money. And all I put in was like $30 to start with. It's like that's how you win the game, right? Get like a million of these stupid projects, right? Get a million of these clown fiestas working hard for you so that you don't have to work hard and then you just get you know you collect your little you know slavery tribute from each of these projects 10 bucks a day here 20 bucks a day here two three hundred bucks a day there right or yeah, i guess if you're like dow king he said he makes like a few thousand dollars a day right i mean imagine how much money he freaking makes i'm actually pretty sure he's a multi-millionaire in fact when you look at his videos his background that looks like a pretty expensive house he lives in by the water those things are always expensive, so you know he's, you know he's, he knows what he's doing, right? So yeah. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It's what is it going to be about? Oh, piggy finance. Yeah, we gotta talk about that because I mean I kind of don't want to because I want to keep this shit to myself until I accumulate enough pig shares. But whatever, I'll just I'll I'll throw you guys a bone because you know Dow King was nice enough to actually talk about piggy finance on his videos so technically it's not exactly private uh but you know we'll, we'll save it for that so yeah check out draco fans i'll make sure i leave all the links for all you guys and then uh yeah like subscribe blah 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 you know spread my content around because believe it or not you know the more of us that actually like you know get involved in these projects the more stable it becomes right because these things are all because the more that people use these projects, it's just like money, right? Use case. The more people use the U.S. dollar, the more valuable it becomes, right? And then eventually you have like a self-fulfilling prophecy or slash ecosystem. So, you know, don't be a selfish jerk like I'm trying to be with Piggy Finance, right? I'm not going to be selfish with Piggy. I'll do the video right after this, right? Just, you know, spread the stuff around, right? Especially if you're going to put your own money in this, you know, it, it makes finance... It, it makes financial sense for you to spread this video around if you're in this project so that you make more money, right? Because if nobody knows about this project, then there'll be no one buying this shit. And then what happens is everyone will loot the, loot the project, dump everything, and then you become exit liquidity. So you kind of need to actually spread my stuff around, right? It's in your own best interest. But you should just do it anyway because it's the right thing to do, you know? Like, I really don't like selfish people, believe it or not. I really don't like them, right? Because... They're negative-minded, they're scarcity mindset, and they're just assholes. I mean, why would you want to perpetuate that kind of, like, behavior in anyone, right? So just don't be that way. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching and liking, subscribing, and spreading the videos around, and, you know, whatever. And, yeah, I don't know. Check it out. Draco Finance. Very, uh, very, very cool.